while at times like this in the fall, when you come back into an area that's got a lot of shad, and these fish have migrated back in and they're pushing them, uh, I like to have a few different baits tied up. Top water, right here I've got a shallow running crankbait, and uh, just have a few different baits and just make sure that they're ready. So if they start blowing up, I'll reel in my crankbait, drop it, pick up my top water fire in there, make a couple casts. There we go. Throwing that spitting thing around the fish pushing shad, having one come up and blow it. That's a little, good little chunk. All right. Yeah, he's a good chunk. He's got a mouthful of spitting cane. You just, I'm throwing that chrome sexy shad pad. And, uh, golly. He had it. I mean, he ate the thing. Yeah, just a good chunker. I mean, uh, we were just working this area, and there's just a bunch of bait pushing, and, and it's not real, it's not real, you know, strong feeding pattern or anything. But um, there's just some fish pushing some bait around, and I threw the spitting king right on the edge of the, of the shad seams. It seems like where the shad are kind of balled up, and where those fish are pushing, and I just threw it and twitched it, twitch, 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 twitch it. Goosh. I love that fall fishing. I'm just throwing it on a St. Croix. This is called a, the Legend Tournament Rod, and it's called a teaser. It's kind of a, me, a medium heavy. Um, it's a medium power, and an Arden XS1000. And I'm throwing a, I'm throwing 28 pound test braided line, and no leader. So just right on there with a Strike King Chrome Sexy Shad. So it's a it's a good fish cut fish catcher when the when the water's kind of clear like this, and we're up in the shallow water. It's a nice chunker right there. This I love fall fishing. It's super shallow. Almost can run the, the trolling motor into the dirt, and we'll put this one back. He's a lot of fun. He just blew up on it, and pretty fish on a beautiful fall morning here on Kentucky Lake.